learners i am dr arsana adhikari today we will discuss about the remaining part of your uh, unit number 1 from your paper 2 that is educational measurement so in the last discussion we have discussed about the concept of measurement what is educational measurement what are its characteristics its types and different functions of educational measurement so today we will discuss about the scales of measurements its meaning classification of scales of measurement different scales of measurement and what are the similarities and dissimilarities among these scales of measurement and at last we will summarize the all the whole chapter so let's start so measurement in the field of measurement we have to apply some scales so in future or in the further semester you will have some statistical part and there you have to apply some scales some test so for this you have to be clear with the term scales of measurement if you are clear with the scales of measurement it will be uh, it will be very easy for you to apply these scales in different kinds of statistics that will be applied in the field of education and psychology so first of all we have to be clear about what is scales so it refers to the ways in which numbers are defined and categorized we know that in measurement we have to categorize the numbers or the values so we have to we have to give some we have to assign some value to in terms of the number so when we refer when we use or assign some measurement some number in terms of some categorization it implies the scale of measurement each scale of measurement has certain properties or attributes which determine its applicability in certain mathematical or statistical analysis i have already mentioned you that this scales will be applied in the field of statistics or or in the field of measurement so all the scales what we will discuss discuss it have its own own uh, characteristic so on the basis of the properties and attributes we will determine it we will classify it and as per norms we will apply it so scales of measurement which are also known as level of measurement so so you you, you have to remember that this scales of measurement are also known as levels of measurement so these are the classification that uh, describe the nature of the information within the numbers assigned to variable so in the field of education and psychology under the scope of measurement you will come across lots of variable and information so we have to classify that and with the help of the level or what we call it scale of measurement we can get its appropriate nature So now we have to know about the types of scales or what are the scales that are used in the field of measurement. So we all must remind this name Stanley Smith Stevens. So he was the director of the Psycho Acoustic Laboratory in Harvard University and he developed he classified the scales of measurement into four categories and these scales are nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio we all must be clear with this four scales of measurement that the first one is nominal second one is ordinal third one is interval and the fourth one is ratio and i uh, i will mention here that among these four scales the interval scale is highly applicable in the field of education and psychology why i will mention in the next slide So now let's discuss about the scales in detail. So first th this is the first scale or which we can say it is the oldest scale of measurement. And what is nominal scale? When numerical data or numbers in measurement 
are used in simple identifiers or names they represent a nominal scale of measurement so simply we can say that when we classify the variable or when we classify the information in the in the in terms of some names some classification that is nominal scale so in a class we have lots of student so we classify it as male student or girl student or boy student like in a library we have lots of lots of books so we classify it these are the books of education these are the books of economics this that these are the books from literature so we can classify the information what what information or what uh, scale what data we gain when we classify it in terms of numbers in terms of some categories they are called as nominal scale so in our day to day life in our day to day activities we basically use this kind of scale and uh, for example i have already given you the example but uh, for to be more clear we can say that the registration number of vehicle pin code phone number etc are some of the example of nominal scale so we can classify the people in terms of their color of hair color of their eyes blue color eyes or green color eyes or black color eyes now people so thus we can classify the people or data that we gather so when we classify the data in terms of some numbers in terms of some categories they are called as nominal scale so this is the lowest level of scale and therefore it is considered as the lower scale of measurement and here number are used only to represent categories of data so you have to remember that here numbers are used only to represent the categories of data we don't classify between the students that the how many girls are there or how many boys are there we just classify them to represent their presence so the function of nominal scale is to just to represent the data in terms of some numbers nominal scales are known as qualitative scale and measurement made on qualitative scale give qualitative data as we as this uh, scale represent the uh, numbers only in terms of some categories so these are basically qualitative data so this this is this are the qualitative scale and this give only the qualitative data a number used in nominal scale are assigned as labels only and they have no specific numerical value or meaning that is why mathematical computation cannot be performed on nominal scale as yes, i have already mentioned that the function of nominal scale is only to represent data it doesn't tell anything about the data so in the mathematical computation this cannot be used or performed so this is the lowest so from the statistical point of view this is the lowest level of measurement and also this is the oldest level of measurement so this is about the nominal scale which is basically about representing data in terms of some number or categorization then we have the second scale that is ordinal scale the name itself gives us a clue about this scale so ordinal so when numbers used in measurement represent an ordered series of relationship or rank order they represent an ordinal scale of measurement so while in the classroom or in a school we have lots of student or children but we can get some data regarding their order of their achievement some of the higher higher uh, higher higher achiever some are lower middle achiever some are lower achiever so on the basis of this achievement we classify them as rule number 1 rule number 2 rule number 3 or first class second class or third class like that so ordinal scale implies representing data in terms of order okay in terms of order it represent the order difference between the two children 
so student rank in f class as a first second or third represent the ordinal data so simply it represent the data in terms of order this ordinal scale gives information about the rank or order of the major so it gives information about the order what order the part particular student possess but it still doesn't provide information about the relative difference okay we can just classify students in terms of or we can represent that he is row number one or row number two but this scale doesn't provide us the actual difference between the row number one and row number two okay so it is only represent the rank order only it doesn't tell about the uh, differences between the first class holder and second class holder it just represent the order first second third like this so this is about the ordinal scale of measurement then we have the third scale of measurement which i have already mentioned that this is the scale which is highly applicable in the field of measurement uh, in the in the field of basically in the field of education and psychology so what is interface scale the name itself is interval so it, it represents quantity an equal difference between successive interval on a scale in addition to the information about the order does what this scale uh, gives us information about the order first and second as well as it gives us the exact or equal difference between the order means it gives us it tells us about the interval it tells us about the interval and therefore this is interval scale so a vivid example of interval scale is a temperature scale that we use to measure the temperature of a particular person when he or she uh, gets some favor okay so but one thing is here is that the, uh, it doesn't have a zero means uh, when we measure a particular height or weight of a person we start from the zero point we start from the zero point but here the interface scale doesn't have a zero point so when a particular student uh, suppose roll number 14 he gets 40 marks or he gets 15 marks and roll number 10 gets 30 marks so it tells us difference it the interface scale gives us the accurate or exact difference between the roll number 10 and 13 but it doesn't mean that roll number 10 is to double he is double intelligence of the roll number 13 so we can say that the uh, 5 kg or 10 kg or 25 kg these are the example of ordinal scale so it gives us the rank order but in the field of education and psychology or in the field of behavioral science we cannot say that if ram gain 50 then rahim who get 25 is double intelligent than rahim it, we can't say that because this is in the field of behavioral science so but it doesn't have a zero point so uh, for example zero degree celsius on a temperature scale doesn't signify absolute absence of temperature in the field of education and psychology we cannot define or cannot find any person that he or she is he he or she possess zero intelligence no we can't say that but when we measure a weight or height we start from the zero point so suppose this this is the a this is as a physical object and we can start it from the zero level but we cannot measure intelligence or what we can say personality interest aptitude or whatever with a zero point so this doesn't have a zero representation and therefore this is a uh, applied only in the behavioral science then we have the last scale that is ratio scale so ratio scale means it has a true zero point 
it has a 2 to 0 point which is absent in interval scale ordinal scale or what we say in the first one is nominal scale so the ratio scale of measurement represent quantitative and equal difference between interval with an absolute true zero ratio suppose we measure the temp we measure a length a height of a room then we can get the absolute absolute measurement with an equal zero point we can we can measure the length we can measure the weight so with a true zero point so it gives us equal difference between the intervals with a with a proper zero true zero then normally physical measurements such as as I have already told you, height, weight represent the ratio data. Such measurement invariably refer to define quantity where units are equal and zero means absolute absence of the dimension being measured. All types of statistical measures are applicable to ratio scale. So you all must remember that all types of statistical measure are applicable to ratio scale. So these are the four scales of measurement which are very much important in the study of measurement in the field of education and psychology. So now we have to uh, discuss the similarities and dissimilarities among this scale. Uh, from the discussion, we have already clear about the similarities and dissimilarities, but this table will help you more to know about the similarities and dissimilarities among the scales. So first, I have classified it or uh, showed it in a table. So as we, we know that we have four scale and we have some... Uh, you know uh, factors or what we can say attributes so first one is differentiate between variables this, this is the first characteristics then second one is rank or rank order third one is indication of difference between the measures and fourth one is presence of absolute zero so if we uh, determine or if we analyze all the four uh, scales first the all the four scale represent or all the four scale qualifies the first indicator or first attribute that it differentiate between the variable all the four major scales of measurement differentiate between variable okay then regarding the rank order except nominal scale except nominal scale all other third scale that are ordinal interval and ratio it gives rank order okay then except nominal and ordinal scale the last two interval and ratio scale indicates the degree of difference between the measures it indicates the equal difference between the measures and regarding presence of absolute zero we all can say that except the uh, first three the last measures of scales of measurement that is the ratio scale give have a absolute zero so this table will help you to know about more about the this four scales of measurement now uh, we have come to the last point of the discussion so as a summarization we can summarize the chapter or the discussion of today's is like that the scale of measurement refers to the ways in which numbers are defined and categorized. So that was Stanley Smith Stephen who developed or classified the scales of measurement or, le or levels of measurement in four categories, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. So nominal scale specifically mention or represent the data in terms of number or categorization. So we can say that numbers are used only to represent nominal scale. Then ordinal scale gives information about the rank or order of the measures. Then an interval scale represents quantity and equal difference between successive interval on the scale. And the last one that is ratio scale of measurement also represent quantity and equal difference between interval with an absolute or true zero so on the basis of this discussion we can say that ratio order is the highest order of measurement 
because it has all the attributes of scales of measurement so i think you have understood this uh, particular uh, unit so if you have any question any queries you can put in the comment box we will try to answer it so thank you very much Thank you.